The show begins with a personal message from its seven stars. There is the saying, if you've met one autistic person, you have met one autistic person. You are now meeting seven autistic people. The perfect prologue to a musical. Unlike anything Broadway has ever seen. sat down with three of those stars Amelia Fay I've learned that if I raise my eyebrows like this Connor Tag I look interested This is your view Yeah pretty pretty good view Pretty great And Liam Pierce It doesn't like spit facts about autism at you it's not like a lecture it's really just like bringing the audience into our world. Building momentum, the very beginning. Building momentum, the energy spinning. The musical How to Dance in Ohio is based on an award-winning documentary of the same name. Well, I didn't really understand this whole concept at first. We like to socialize, but it's just we don't know how. The film follows a group that meets at a counseling center in Columbus, Ohio. These autistic young adults just like use this as a social group to build skills to navigate the world. And eventually decide. And eventually decide that uh, we're gonna throw a dance. This is it. One dress to rule them all. While parts of the story have been dramatized, the lyrics capture feelings and anxieties that are very real. Most of the spaces that I We have so many people telling us this is the first time I see myself being represented on stage and they are so happy and so, so emotional. I don't know why you're thanking me because I want to thank you for telling me, for, for supporting the show. When I was in the audience, I could feel that love. You can feel that, right? Yeah. They certainly felt it on opening night. The real life drew. When the actors took their bows, they were joined the real-life Verla. By the people they play. The fact that you're making your Broadway debut in this show, mm -hmm. playing an autistic character, what does that mean to you? It means so much. There hasn't been a lot of representation of autism in the past. This is changing that. This is a wake-up call. If you had seen a show like this when you were younger, what would that have meant to you? I would be like, I feel seen. I feel heard. They hope this musical is just the beginning, inspiring even more stories about autism and more shows starring autistic performers. I just want people to come here with an open mind and an open heart to like take it all in and leave questioning what you have ever thought about autism and want to learn more. Here's the thing. They've thought of everything. This is a sensory-friendly show. The theater offers sensory kits along with headphones that provide an audio feed of the show at a lower volume. The show's Broadway run is going to come to an end next month, February 11th, so there is still time to catch it at the Belasco Theater yeah. in Manhattan. Mm. You've seen it. Yeah, I saw it. Nick, Deborah and I took Nick, and it's just, it is triumphant. And you come out of that theater feeling so good. I hope it lives on in some form, yes. whether a tour or something like that. Exactly. He loved it. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. It's great. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.